Hey ladies, so here we go with a new one from Sensational. This is Ivana in the color F1B30. And you can pick this beauty up right at sisterwigs.com. So as you can see from the picture alone, she is actually kind of kinky curly. So I wanted to get going with another wig dupe video. And this is going to be kind of like the last unit that I did, which was a kinky curly unit. Of course, that was human hair. So I wanted to do something a little bit more affordable. Now, as you've seen, there was no lace on the unit at all, which was not like a pleaser. But anyway, we're going to just pet go past that. And we're going to finger comb this unit. You want to make sure that you finger comb it because we want to get it looking kinky and as natural as possible. So the easiest method I would highly suggest is to finger comb it while or prior to putting it on. Now this is the portion of the hair that I'm going to leave out for this unit but prior to that I'm just going to tuck it in and pull out as much as needed. I don't want to take too much out. Very curly as you can see and as you see my hairline right here it is not attractive. So we must go ahead and get some leave out and I'm going to go ahead with my rat tail comb which I prefer and pull out just a little bit just to see how it works. And as you can see, my hair is straight, so I'm going to go ahead and brush that back. And just to give my hair some wave, I'm going to be using my Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oils. This is a Miracle Styling Cream, and it works really good. Detangles, moisturizes, does a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just going to try to blend my hair in as best as possible. And as you see, my hair is thin, so you can see where the wig starts. So I'm going to be using my Strand Maximizer Hair Building Fibers just to make my edges appear a little bit more thicker. These are fibers, which means this is a dry product, and they just look like tiny little hairs. And I'll post the information below. So being that I want my edges a little bit thinner than the rest of the hair, I'm just going to take out a little bit more hair. And I want the edges to just go in kind of gradually and get thicker. So I'm going lightly, just tapping lightly, and I'm going a little bit heavier where the actual wig line is at. That's just to blend the wig line in and make it appear as if it got thicker. Just to set that, I'm going to be using some of my favorite hairspray, Aussie Instant Freeze. And this is also to help with my leave out so it can blend in. And just a little bit more Saran Maximizer. And fluffing it up will do. I'm just going to style this baby as best as possible. She is rather cute, very curly, and this would make some really great summer hair because it's not laying all over your entire back. She's about 16 inches and is very, very full. So for those of you who love full hair, check her out. Now I'm going to make sure my leave out is secure, so I'm going to be using some hairpins. And just style it as preferred with your hairpins. And that's about it, you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, y'all. Okay. So, yes, Ivana. Ivana. Do I say this enough about Sensational? Like, I never can get enough of Sensational. They are sensational, and I am never let down. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give them a 10. Well, no. Uh, we're going to give them an 8.5, okay? Because I actually, there wasn't any parting in Ivana. However, that's okay, because she is supposed to be a wig dupe for the actual kinky curly unit that I just did which was a human hair wig, of course. A little pricey, but it is a wig dupe for that. And that one is by comeandbuy.com. But this one here is a wig dupe, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And, of course, you can pick up this baby from sisterwigs.com. Now, I will be honest and tell you, I was not a huge fan of no parting. But that's okay, because I was going for that wig dupe look. I wanted it to mimic the last wig that I did that was rather expensive. So, of course, I didn't need a part. And then, of course, you girls already know from, like, my past videos, Aussie Instant Freeze. So, for the last time, I haven't had this in a minute, this aerosol can. And 
it actually was changed. The packaging, the whole entire look of it was changed. So kudos to Aussie because this is the best hairspray by far. It's like four bucks. You cannot go wrong with this. You can pick it up at anywhere. Target, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Kmart, Sally's. You can get this, okay? And, of course, I did use my Strand Maximizer, which is very similar to Topic. Topic is a little less um, pricier. This is a little bit more. The nozzle is like 15 bucks alone. Topic's nozzle is 5 And this is 20 Topic's is also 20 The strands are a little bit thicker, meaning you'll get full coverage a lot faster than pumping away. But you can always use Topic. It's the same stuff. I've just been using this because the strands are, the fibers are a little bit thicker. But overall, I do like them both, okay? I really, really love them both. So what I did was you did see my ends, my edges. They're a little bit thin, and of course, you can see where the wig line meets, and I really didn't want that, so I sprayed this on it. Now, I did go very lightly on the actual edges right here, and I got thicker right about here. And that's because the wig is, of course, thicker, but I didn't want my edges so thick, you know what I mean? Very lightly with it here, and then as I got right to the actual wig, I went a little bit, spritzed a little bit more, a little bit heavier, a little heavier hands, so that way it could blend. So you always want to go very light and gradually build it up, you know what I'm saying? So I did that with that. You don't have to use any concealer because, of course, there's no part. Get yourself some really good hairpins, not the bobby pins that are closed, but the actual hairpins like this. This will help your leave out just stay in place. And, of course, get you some Aussie Instant Freeze in the aerosol can. Now, for this unit, Ivana in the color 1B30, F1B30, she is really cute. There is a little bit of subtle color hint here and there, which is fine. I do like this. Of course, you will need to finger comb it. The best thing that I can suggest is prior to putting it on is finger comb it okay because if you don't you really won't be able to see the back so that's the reason why I finger combed it prior to putting it on and also if you don't finger comb it it's going to look like a packaged wig and we want it to look as natural as possible right girls yes hunties yes so if you want to see the back I will turn around so you can check out the back of this unit And she is so cute. Like, this is really like summer hair. It is like exactly 16 inches. It would be super cute. Pulled up. Of course, make sure you pull out some hair. You will need a little bit of leave out to make it look natural. Very easy to put on. I like this one. It's very natural looking. So, like I was saying, you can get this from sisterwigs.com. Of course, I will post the links below. But make sure you check out their makeup site, which is Sister21. The entire makeup look that I have on today was created using one of their clean color palettes, which comes, I think, with like 20 colors if I'm correct it is the baked colors and they are really fluorescent of course you're going to need some type of primer because it is not it's not chalky but it's not as pigmented as most that you would spend more money on but for those who like to just splurge on inexpensive makeup or you just like makeup you can definitely check them out they have all types of cosmetics on their website so on that note let me know what you think of this one here Ivana and I will post the links below make sure you check out sisterwigs.com and as always make sure you rate comment subscribe thumb this video up please share with your friends and family and as always stay diva and divolicious and I'll see you girls and guys on my next video